Well, it doesn't quite work like the TV shows, catching and convicting your criminal between commercials, but Medicine Hat's version of crime scene investigation does involve some of the most advanced technology in Canada. The FIU, or Forensic Identification Unit, has been part of the MHPS since 1964, now consisting of four constables, a sergeant, and two civilian members. Now, you may hear FIU and think this face masks and covered boots. But in fact, the unit handles anywhere between 800 and 1,000 cases each year, from sudden deaths and graffiti tags to assaults and b and When attending a scene, Sergeant Gerald Saddlemeyer says their primary focus is to look for fingerprints. We'll talk to the homeowner to find out exactly where the point of entry was. Um, we want to find out so we can process it, but also that we don't want to be accessing their home through that area. We want to make sure and take another path into their house so that we aren't contaminating the scene. So we'll be looking for fingerprints at the point of entry, any items that were touched or moved, um, if there's items that are, that are moved out of place that were originally not touched by the homeowner, they were not there when they last left. As the forensic field changes, um, everything has going to the DNA because that's, a, you know, it's an absolute um, when, when dealing with crime scenes and uh, it's a lot better evidence for us in court. Gathering a few swabs and shipping them off to a lab seems easy enough, but unlike Hollywood, all Canadian DNA samples are processed in one central lab. And for the lab to give us a essentially a diary date on when they'll have results is anywhere from they they say 40 to 45 days, but it's you know sometimes depending they're taking in cases from all across Canada, so it may uh, be sooner. Um, usually it's later. Sometimes it's up to two months before we get a result. Tire and footprint molds are typically reserved for more serious cases like sexual assaults, kidnappings or homicides, while fiber collection is quickly becoming a thing of the past. You know, we're looking at phasing that out just because the calls for service are, you know, uh, five for the whole year across Canada as compared to DNA, which is, you know, thousands. Despite the stark contrast between the silver screen and reality, some things are the same. Powders, chemicals and fuming chambers help pull prints from all kinds of surfaces like paper, clothing or bottles. Whenever I'm fingerprinting something I'm trying to think of how the person might have touched it and then touch it in areas that they wouldn't have touched it. Uh, in the case of a beer bottle, uh, if I know I'm going to be processing it for DNA after, I'll make sure I don't touch around the mouth portion because um, this is a great area to swab all the little cracks and whatnot. But if I'm not processing it for DNA, I typically put my finger in it and hold it this way and then I know I'm not going to smear any of the, the possible prints that might be on it. When we're using powders. Uh, it is essentially just like you see on TV. Uh, some people twirl it, some people don't, but I typically just want to get the powder on there. And uh, these brown glass beer bottles actually work really well for finding fingerprints. So in this case you can see um, those would be the three fingers and it's typically how a beer bottle would be held. It's not uncommon for service members to change units every few years, but FIU members spend at least five years in this division due to the vast amount of training required with new technology and discoveries in science. But Sergeant Saddlemeyer says that commitment is no problem for his team. You try your best and you want to really help the, the citizens of Medicine Hat that have been, um, have been violated and have their home gone into or they've been, you know, they've been injured by an assault. Um, you want to help the people. So uh, each, each member in this unit, when we, when we attend a scene, it, you know, the, the mindset going in is, you know what, I'm going to get you because this isn't right and you've hurt people. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Christy Pick.